Okay. Move the. It is the last game of the Conquerors for this season. It's the annual alumni game. Alec, I think the story of this game is not going to be who is on the court. It's going to be who's not on the court. First for the Conquerors, an injury to Nolan Dele. He's not even going to be able to play today. Yeah, really, um, they want to shut him down for the rest of the season. He had some ankle injury trouble during the season. He had a great, great season, but um, tonight they're going to rest him. And, it, I mean, it should make it a little, a little more even because yes. Nolan might be a matchup problem for the – old timers but it'll be a fun game to watch tonight and then on the other side and also we have a couple of the conquerors caleb samples is not, is, uh, not able to come tonight so that's another one that we're going to watch for the alumni two nights ago during the conquerors college practice um coach nate spooner who was going to play for uh -huh. the alumni team um messed his finger up pretty bad he's not able to go tonight for the alumni so and of course he could he can score in bunches so we'll see how the alumni handle that they look like they put together a pretty good squad. We have some people from out of town that are able to join us. That's a lot of fun. So I think a key for the Conkers, first for me, you've got to get the guard play. The guard play has to step up. No Nolan Delhe. So um, you lost your, your point guard. So we'll see how the backup point guards do. Brennan Fry um, and Levi McGovern. We'll see, we'll see how they step up. Alec, what's your key for the alumni today? Shots. Yeah, they got to hit your shots. We're going to see a lot of threes, most likely, from the alumni tonight. They're not going to work it up down low a ton. They, they don't have very many big men. So we're going to see a lot of threes. Look for uh, Eric Ramos to try to get going from three. And they have, they have a lot of good shooters. So if they can get going, they'll be dangerous. That's exactly right. It's, uh, of course, always a fun game for us to do the alumni versus the college. It is also the last game of the year for the college. So it's a little fun in that way as well. And I, as we're watching the teams warm up downstairs, it looks like it's going to be an awesome game. Thanks for joining us here on Fairhaven Media. Stay tuned. In about two and a half minutes, we will have the opening prayer and the national anthem. We'll do the starting lineups, and then we will put the ball in the air. It's the Conkers and the alumni. Thanks for joining us on Fairhaven Media.
more than these two inches. Lord, I pray that you bless uh, this evening. Thank you for the chance to get together. Thank you for sports. We enjoy uh, some competition, Lord. And, and I pray that we have a good evening and keep the players uh, safe, especially the older ones. I pray, Lord, you just give us a good evening. And then thank you for the chance to get together and have some fellowship and fun. We ask all these things in Christ's precious name. Amen. to meet the starting lineups first for the Fairhaven Baptist College alumni starting at guard number 32 Tim O starting at guard number 21 Garrett Spooner at guard number 11 Rodney Delhay at forward number 34 Cooper Gressley at forward number 51, Iliomark Gachet. The alumni are coached by Mr. Ra Yoon. And now the starting lineup for your Fairhaven Conquerors. Starting at guard, a 5'9 junior from Saxonburg, Pennsylvania, number 23. Brennan Fry. Starting at guard, a six foot junior from Payson, Illinois, number 31, Joel Zadarski. Starting at guard, a six foot junior from Tennessee somewhere, number 32, Tyler Cooper. At forward, a six foot two freshman from Ocala, Florida, number 51, Joshua Peel. The man in the middle, a six foot two junior from Tyner, North Carolina, number 21, Joe Buttrell. And the coach of the Conquerors, not playing for the alumni due to a bum finger, Nathan Spooner. All right, it's time for basketball. Conquerors and the alumni, the alumni in the red jerseys and the Conquerors in the white. It's gonna be Ilya Mark Gachette and Joe Batrell to jump it off here. Ball in the air, tip control to Gachette and the alumni. Here they come, moving that ball right to left. Down the lane, Rodney Dele inside to John Batrell. Gives off to Gachette, mid-range, Jay is up and through. Two nothing alumni. 
Bringing the ball up is Brennan Fry. Right corner, Josh Peel. He'll put the ball on the floor, spin, give it to Joel Zdarsky. Goes to the left, he'll shoot a three. It's up, it's off. Rebound, Delahaye. Rodney Delahaye, and that ball's out of bounds, and it's going to the alumni. Rodney Delahaye, father of Nolan Delahaye, not able to play today for the Conquerors due to injury. Down the lane, pass inside, John Patrell, layup shot, good. Beautiful pass from Rodney Delahaye. Alumni up 4-0 early. Brennan Fry down the other line, side, gives off to Joe Patrell. Jay-Z, Tyler Cooper mid-range day, it's up, it's out, rebound Zadarski, gets his man up in the air, puts it up, put up glass, it's no good. Rebound Joe Patrell, layup shot, good. Good board. Offensive rebounds. That's two of them right there, and here comes Rodney Delhe. College Dressly. team's defense is out of sorts. Early. Long three, way off. Rebound off the hands of John Patrell into the hands of his brother Joe Patrell. Gotta love to see the sibling rivalry. Jay-Z for a three. Off the back rim. No good. Rebound. Brendan Fry. Another offensive board. Joe Patrell, mid-range Jay. Off. Well, the Conquerors aren't making many baskets early. No, they are. They look a little disorganized on defense, as, as I was saying. See if they can get that down, then get some good looks on offense. Delhay working really good offense for the alumni. Tim O, deadly from deep. Yes, he is. Pass inside, John Batrell gets his man up in the air. It's rejected out of there by Joe Batrell. Here he comes. He'll take it down the lane. He got bumped. He got fouled. 41, John Batrell commits the personal. That's brother ball right there. Joe Patrell so good. Uh, last, uh, a game against Dayspring, got a block at one end, and then coast to coast took it down for a bucket. Here he gets fouled, but he's really good. It's fun to watch. He scored 15 last against the Dayspring Eagles. Last time out for the Conkers. He traveled with the basketball. JP looking to go inside to Joe Patrell to set up a possible pick play. Instead, it's a turnover. Certainly want that one back. Delhay is going to bring it up over the timeline. Right corner to Gressley. He does not pull the trigger on that three, and here's Gachette. Pounding that dribble gives back to Delhay. 15 on the time clock. Delhay gets it in, scoops, misses, rebound. Patrell to, into the hands of Tyler Cooper, into the hands of Zadarski. Long pass up ahead, Brendan Fry. Inside. Oh, a dangerous, not a smart decision for that pass. Definitely not. Swing it. Tim O gets that floater up. It's off. Rebound. Tim O gets it back. Puts it up. Air ball. Rebound. John Batrell. He'll put it up and miss. He's doing exceptional work on the boards, he, but he's gotten blocked and then he missed a layup there, but he's doing really good. Oh, pass right corner. Way out of bounds. That is two early turnovers for Brennan Fry. Brennan Fry just doesn't seem to be able to find his groove this season. It'd be nice to see him uh, get it late. Yes, it would. He is a very good player. Yes. Delay spins, shoots, airmail, rebound, Joel Zadarski. U.S. Postal has got another package. Down the lane, Joel Zadarski into a crowd layup shot. No. One he, in the contact, didn't get it. He oh. had Fry open for a Grassley. transition layup. Doesn't pull the trigger on that three. Right corner, Gachette, wide open right side three. It's up. Miss. Rebound, Brendan Fry. Instead, it's John Patrell to Gressley. What a play. Up. Gets his man. No foul. Rebound. Joe Patrell. We got a foul, and that's going to be whistled against John Patrell. Crazy action. Early going. We have some substance of the game. First time in the game for Brian Haiti, Eric Ramis, and John Olson. Now this lineup right now is scary at the three-point line for the alumni. Tim O, Eric Ramis, and Brian Haiti, all guys who can fill it. Definitely, definitely. Tim Batrell in, and Thomas Knowles for the Conquerors. Top key, deep three, bang. Big time three for the lead. John Olson, mid-range jail, air ball. A beautiful shot from Joel Zadarski. High arcing three, nothing but the bottom. Looks like he's going to be the point now for the Conquerors. Tim Batrell shoots, scores! 
I will say this, Tim Petrell had the best practice of his year this past practice, and um, I was looking forward to seeing him play today. A deep three, in and out of the hole, no good. Rebound, Thomas Knowles. Tim Petrell crosses over. Tim Petrell to Joe Petrell. Shot up, in. Conker's getting hot from the mid-range and a timeout. An early timeout from the alumni. This is simply a chance to, you know, it's nine to four. It's not like the game has gotten out of reach yet. Definitely not, no. But a seven they were run. up four to zero. Yes. Or four to two. So, and, you know, you don't want Joel Zadarski starting hitting those shots. I'm, I'm surprised we haven't seen that many good three-point looks from the alumni. Um, Tim O, <laughs> he gets any good looks, it, you better watch out if you're, the, if, if, if you're Fairhaven. Yeah. Well, we'd like to take this time to uh, let you know of some things. Here at Fairhaven, our, our player of the game is presented to you, as always, by Rough and Tough Lawn Care. Making lawns great again. Rough and Tough Lawn Care. Mowing services, snow, snow removal, which that's that time of year. I had fun shoveling a couple weeks ago myself. Shoveling and um, lawn care. Rough and Tough Lawn Care. Player of the game goes to... Whoever we pick affected their team in the most positive way. Typically goes to a player on the winning team. We'll see which team gets the win tonight. Eric Ramos at the top of the key. Daniel Zadarski, he will shoot that three short off the rim. Rebound, Joel Zadarski. Another brother-brother rivalry. Down the lane, shoots, misses, rebound. John Olson, not a point guard, has it stripped. Joel Zadarski, really aggressive early, taking it to the rack. JP for three. Off the rim, no good. Rebound. Brian Haiti. Oh! On the ground, saved by Brian Haiti. Wow, nearly a disaster there for the alumni. See if the alumni can get Mr. Ra Eric Ramos going from three point line. He can shoot it. Oh, he stepped on the end line. Takes a practice Brian shot. Brian Haiti scores end. it. That'll good to get him going. Definitely. Doesn't count in the game, but nothing like a good practice shot. And the ball's behind him. Oh, and it's a steal. Garrett Spooner, Daniel Zadarski. Pass inside, stolen. Back to Zadarski. Gets his man up. Rejected out of there. John Olsen. We have Joe Petrell makes call. up for that turnover with a resounding block, but it'll stay with the alumni. Brian Haiti into Garrett Spooner. Keeps that pivot foot alive. Oh, it's stolen. Back to John Olson. Shoots. Up, out. Man, nothing has fallen for the alumni. Joel Zadarski nearly tripped up. Pass inside Knowles. He'll shoot. Traveled. That's unfortunate. Eric Ramos is going to bring it up over the timeline. John Olson at the, the top did. of the key. Not your everyday point guard. Garrett Spooner, mid-range J, up, around, oh. out. Nothing is going for the alumni. They can't buy one. Certainly Joe not. Joe Patrell over the timeline. Oh, beautiful crossover back to Thomas Knowles. Mid-range J, up, short. Rebound, Eric Grimes. Thomas Knowles seeing his first major minutes of the year. This is exciting to see. The young Conkers getting some playing action. And at the scorer's desk is Caleb Rich. Brian Haiti, wide open, right side three. Bang! Nothing but the bottom for Brian Haiti. He is deadly from three. Yes, he is. Breaks the score. Definitely, definitely breaks the scoring drought. For both teams, really. Joe Batrell, Thomas Knowles. Back to Zadarski. That's going to be a turnover. It's going out of bounds. Back to the alumni. The alumni have always had the ability to fill it from three, and that's what's scaring the Conquerors right now. Into the yep. game for the first time for the alumni. We've got Josh Altman seeing first minutes and Michael Schreiber seeing first minutes. In for the Conquerors, uh, the college is Caleb Rich. Now, I will say this. Caleb Rich, first time playing organized basketball in his whole entire life. Last practice hit five threes in a row during a scrimmage. Maybe he can get a couple tonight. Yeah, look for a repeat performance. It'll be fun to see. Eric Ramos. Pass inside Altman. Off his hands. And saved by Tim Batrell. And we've got ourselves a foul. That's against Daniel Zadarski. And
in disbelief at that, that call. And here comes Joel Zdarsky. The right corner, Caleb Rich, he's ready for a three. Oh, it's off the rim, no good. Rebound, Eric Ramos. The crowd is going to go nuts if Pressure. Caleb Rich buries Pressure three. early in the backcourt from Joel Zdarsky. This lineup for the alumni is different. There's no pure point guard. Garrett Spooner gets a nice look and scores. A good Beautiful roll. shot. I'd like to see Caleb Rich in that right corner. This crowd is going to go bazookas. Down the lane, floater up, off, rebound, up, tip shot up, in. How in the world? Tim O, a beautiful tip shot, and they lead it by one with 9.54 and ticking in the first half of action. Brennan Fry puts his head down, shoots, no good. Rebound Del A, probably not the shot they wanted coming out of that turnover possession. Cooper Gressley brings it up. He's got his man in the right corner. Puts it on the floor into John Batrell off his hands. Back to Tim O. Oh, he fakes his man in the air and scores! Tim O for two. What a fake. Tim Batrell, he'll yank. Miss. Rebound, Gachette, and a one out. One on one, down the lane. Layup shot foul, two free throws. Brennan Fry in utter disbelief. Sure looked like a lot of contact. Yeah, I don't, he can't believe it, but I mean, when you got a guy running at the hoop like that with a guy hanging on his shoulder, you're gonna see a call a lot of times. And it's hard because you only have one ref. There's a limit to what he's gonna be able to see. Yeah. Gachette misses the first. <laughs> Brennan, Brennan Fry yells, ball don't lie, as he misses the first charity donation. His second one's coming. He'll head back to the bench, replaced by Levi McGovern. Off the back, no good, rebound Josh Peel. Joshua Peel is a, a very good rebounder. Zdarsky, in rhythm, shoots a three. Bang! We're tied up at 15. What an answer. Pass inside John Patrell. What a pass from Rodney Delhay. You have to pick what was better, the pass or the finish. Both were lovely. That was a beautiful pass from Rodney Delhay. Right corner, JP. He's ready for a three. Missed it. Rebound off the hands of a conqueror, and it's going to the alumni. Here comes Rodney Delhay. Right corner, Gachette. Top of the key. Inside to Timo. Right corner, Gressley. Oh, he shoots. Missed it. Rebound. Tim Batrell off of his head, saved by McGovern. Oh, what a mistake. Cooper Gressley settles it. Not a smart play. In transition, had the chance. Instead, he passed it behind him. Oh, what's out of bounds? Would have been a beautiful play. John Batrell, a little bit of an errant pass. Into the scorer's desk and checking in is Brian Haiti. He's going to replace the aforementioned John Batrell. Ryan Heaney with a big three earlier. Let's see if they can get him in rhythm. 17 to 15, it's been back and forth. Right now it's alumni by two. Conker's trying to answer. Levi fakes right, goes up, misses. Rebound offensive, Josh Peel misses off his hands into the hands of Delhay. Spin move. Oh, a beautiful pass to Brian Haiti for three. Off the rim. Position, Gressley couldn't get the board. Tim Batrell to Joel Zdarsky. Beautiful look for three. Yes. Trying to force the issue is Zdarsky. It's does. good. Joel Zdarsky in takeover mode. We're tied up at 17. He's hotter than Suaracha. Inside, rejected by Joe Batrell. And Tim Batrell comes away with it. Nearly a bad turnover. Right corner, Josh Peel at his feet, wide open, miss. Rebound, oh. It's been hectic. Neither team seems to have control of, of, of the game. We've It's just been pretty hectic, frenzy back and forth. A lot of turnovers. Good way to describe it, Luke, yeah. That ball's off his hands. Joel Zdarsky falls on it. And we got a foul, foul on Rodney Delhay. 
A lot of effort from Joel Zadarski. It's exciting to watch out there. To the scorer's desk is Daniel Zadarski. He's going to quickly check in for Tim O. We are tied at 17 with 6 minutes and 40 seconds left in the game. Or in the half, I am sorry. Beautiful pass. Couldn't quite corral it. JP. And we got a foul. It's on his head. With the one ref, it's, it's really hard. You got to feel for him. It's hard to see everything. This time, we do have a foul. A chance for the Conquerors to take the lead. Brennan Fry to the line. Make that J Josh Peel. 6.32 left to play in our first. J.P. Fires fills it. 18 to 17. Conquerors are leading it by one. As he misses the second one, rebound aggressively. Over to Dale. Here they come. I am thinking that before too long, you're going to be seeing Eric Ramos shoot a three. Into Cooper Gressley. He'll shoot a mid-range. Rejected by Joe Patrell. He got his hand up there. Beautiful. Pass it ahead to Joel Zarowski. Layup shot off the rim. Rebound, Brian Haiti. Oh, it was that close, and it looks like he fell on his elbow. Joel Zarowski a little worse for wear after that tumble, and he'll be replaced by Timothy Patrell. I think he was hoping for some contact. It was just hard. He, he fell so hard. It looked it looked worse than it probably was. Yeah. Pass inside. Cooper Gressley. Rejected again. Up in. Good follow. Joe Batrell. Oh, he passed it in to Brian Eddy. Who scores? The ultimate deep play. It works every time. Oh, my goodness. He got that it. Sequence. It works. Wow, right corner, Josh Peel, he'll give it another go from three. This one's pure. They've been trying to get him going from that spot. Finally connects, ties the game. Foul on the ground. Foul's on the ground, Rodney Dele picks it up. The foul's whistled against number 44 for the, for the college. That's going to be Tim Batrell. That's his first... Team third, the alumni up to five personal fouls. Inside Cooper Gressley, turn around, mid-range day, nothing but brick. Rebound up to Tim Batrell. Oh, he gets around his defender, shoots, foul, Dele commits the personal, Tim Batrell. A little bit of a wild take, but he got the contact, and he'll shoot too. Coach Nolan Dele is the assistant for today's game as... The two assistants for the college normally are playing for the alumni. Julia Marquette and John Batrell. Tim Batrell at the, at the free throw line. His first one is up, short off the rim. If we gave away a most improved player each year for the, for the Fairhaven College team, he would hands down be the winner. Tim Batrell is ready for the second. It's up. It's around the rim. Oh, and Tyler Cooper. Can't do that. He was hovering over him like the... A spaceship. Like a spaceship. <laughs> I was trying to think of an analogy. Couldn't quite do it. That is my bad. I will try to think of a better one for next time. He was hovering over him like a... Like a... Like a sheet on a We're ghost. Trying this something. again. All right. <laughs> and I, Gary Spooner will bring it down for the Conquerors. Gets the ball back. Looking to Alden. Eric Ramos wants a screen. Now to pass to Garrett Spooner. Pump fake and a mid-range. Ooh, a good take. Board. And the ball will stay with the alumni. Pastor Daniel Zadarski is not appreciating the... He wanted that contact. And from and here, I, I will give it for to the him. Conquerors, Adam Hallman, seeing his first minutes of the year right now. Mid-range J is nothing but air. Rebound JP, out to Joe Patrell. Outlet pass to Brennan Fry. Swings it up to Tim Patrell, wide open right side three. Bang, bang, bang! Speaking of most improved player. 
Tim Batrell, nothing but the bottom. Looking for the answer. And got go! it. We're tied at 24. Daniel Zdarsky, 4-3. Right corner, Josh Peel. Doesn't pull it. All right, corner, Peely. Ready for a three. Off the back rim, no good. Rebound, Joe Patrell. Off his hands, out of bounds. Going to the alumni. I'm just not used to seeing the college and the alumni put together this type of three-point contest. No. Oh, it's a very exciting game. Both teams with excellent ball movement. They're getting good shots. Off the foot, and Start rebound to, to Adam Holman up to Joe Patrell. Brennan Fry for two. Garrett Spooner, here he comes. And one for the Conquerors. Let's see if they can score here. Scoop shot. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. He seemed like his arms were just kept extending and extending. Could not connect on the shot, though. DZ for three. Deep shot. Yeah. We've seen a lot of those from him tonight. It's out of bounds. Can't seem to find his range and a timeout. Wow. 24 to 24, and it feels like it's 50 to 50. Seems like both teams are playing well, but a little too frenzied at the time. This is a good timeout by Coach Ryum just to settle things down and make sure we're they're executing the game plan that they have try that they're trying to do uh, have this game. And but so far, it looks like the college is playing well, but the the main guys on the college. Joel Zdarsky's been, been well. Joe Batrell, I don't, I don't think, has scored yet. And uh, Josh Peel has hit a three. But he's struggling from deep, yes. is Josh And, and Peel. Brendan Fry hasn't seen quality, has seen the floor a lot, but he hasn't scored yet. So no. I think if the college is going to win this, you really can't rely on it on the bench hitting those threes that they have hit. Um, it's, been, it's been exciting seeing Tim Batrell um, start hitting those threes. I really like. I really like to see a little bit more discipline from the college team. We've seen a lot of turnovers. Just they need to get their head in the game and roar and move the ball a little bit better. But this is shaping up to be a really exciting game. JP. The defense from John Batrell. Guarding his brother. <laughs> Alumni ball. Joel Zdarsky will check back in the ball game. Take the place of Adam Holman. Here comes John Batrell. Rodney Delay running the point. Two minutes 44 left in the half. Number 11, not Rodney Delay will bring it up. Wants the guy at the post. Back to Ilya Markashev back to Tim O. He shoots. First three of the game for him. No, no good. No good. Rebound, Brennan Fry. John Batrell has been very active on the boards. Certainly has. Brennan Fry, back out to Joshua Peel. Got to swing that. Instead, he goes back to the right corner, Brennan Fry. The coffin corner. And we've got a shoulder, shoulder foul on Ilya Mark Gachette. Ball's going to be out of bounds. That's actually 17 fouls. We're going to get a horn here from the scorekeeper. We've got ourselves a one and one situation coming for Brennan Fry. Already over the limit are the alumni with just two minutes and eight seconds. If I'm not to mistaken, play. this might be Brennan's chance for his first points. Mm -hmm. It'll be his first points if he can make front end of the one and one. He hits it. First one's good, he earns the bonus. Conquers lead by one, 25-24. 2.08 left in the half. Free throw up and good. Ah, I called it too early. The you ultimate announcer jinx. Yes, you did. 
Dele inside, John Petrell, scoop layup shot, good! Those two have a connection that has been paying big dividends for the alumni tonight. And I wouldn't have guessed it if you had told me that at the start of the game. Right corner, Joe Zdarsky in rhythm, doesn't shoot the ball. Instead, he puts the ball on the floor. Looking for anyone, Brennan Faya, deep three. It's good! Big bucket for Brennan Fry. Conquers by two, 28-26. At the feet of Tim O. It's a turnover. JP has it. Joe Petrell behind the back crossover dribble. Left Here he comes. Him. Inside to Tim Petrell. Layup shot up. Good. Beautiful pass from Joe Petrell. Biggest lead of the night for the Conquerors is four points. If I'm not mistaken. John Petrell. In and out. Here comes Timothy. Pass right corner. Drops to appeal. Airs out a three. It's good again! Yeah. Bang, bang, bang for Joshua Peel. We are under a minute to play. Tim O, air out another one. Long. Rebound. Tadowski. Little wild on the dribble. And a foul. Looks like it's going to be on Zadarski as he fouls his former teammate, Ilya Markashet. Joel Zadarski and Ilya Markashet are going at it. Gotta love it. Up by seven are the college. Rodney Dele. Yeah, we got a foul. Brennan Fry called for the, called for the block. Brennan Fry gives his approval to the ref. Here comes Cooper Gressley. Delhay, first three, up, air ball, rebound, Josh Peel. JP, he'll add another one. Miss it, rebound, John Petrell. They could have held for the last shot there. But they're going to hold it. 15 seconds left, Rodney Delhay. Looking for a chance to cut the lead. Cut into the lead. Six seconds left, it's down to five. Clock's down to four. Three, Tim O, buzzer beater three. Short off the rim, rebound five. Here on court one, not gonna be anywhere close. And your halftime score, the Fairhaven Baptist College Conquerors 33 and the Fairhaven Baptist College Alumni Squad 26. After that first half of action, I think we all need to take a quick break. We'll be back in about five minutes. We'll get you your second half stats and our keys to the second half with my co-host, Alec Mitchell. Thanks for joining the first half of action. Everyone take a nice big breather just like me and Alec will and we'll be back for the second half of action. Conquers 33 Alumni 26. We'll see you in about five minutes.
So we're about ready for the second half. We're going to read off our halftime stats. Leading the way for the Conkers with 10 points, Timothy Butrell off the bench with 10. With eight, Joel Zadarski. Joshua Peel has seven and four each for Brennan Fry and Joe Butrell. For the alumni squad, a little bit more spread out in the scoring. And we're just going to read these off quickly. Six points leading the way is John Butrell. Four points each for Cooper Gressley, Tim O, and also Ilya Markashet. Three points each for Brian Hady and Daniel Zadarski. And with two points is Garrett Spooner. We're ready for our second half here in about a minute. First, the keys for the Conquerors, the college. My first thing is we've got to keep the ball moving on offense. Quick passes, find the open man cutting to the basket. Don't worry about the three. Those will start to fall later. And if they don't, we should probably scrap them all together. Then there's the alumni. Alec, what are your keys to the alumni and a success to make a comeback here in the second half? Really, we've seen a lot of good ball movement, Luke, mm -hmm. from, the, from, the, from the alumni. We would like to yeah. see more of it. Yeah. They can, get, they can clean up their game, lessen the turnovers, and just uh, get a little bit more uh, aggressive on defense. Mm -hmm. And if, if the shots start falling, the, conquer, the alumni can get really dangerous, and they, can, they have a chance to win this game. Exactly. And, and you, Tim O is a, is a, is a shooting spree waiting, waiting to happen. As long, so is Eric Ramos. He hasn't taken a shot yet. Brian Haiti as well. So the Conquerors have to keep up the heavy defense or else this could get out of hand really quick. Conquerors, alumni, we're ready for the second half. Here in about one second, horn's about to sound. We're going to get you the second half of action. The lead is seven as the teams take the floor for the start of the second half. 20 minutes to play. Seven point lead for the Conquerors. Second half is always presented to you by the Re Cafe of Fairhaven, coffee, chicken tenders, and a whole lot more. JP for three. In and out. Rebound Joe Petrell. Inside to JP. Right corner Tyler Cooper, mid-range J. That's his shot, it's off. Rebound Joe Petrell again. That's two offensive rebounds this trip for Petrell. He takes matters into his own hands, gets rejected. Top of the key, Joel Zadarski. Fakes his that man out, shoots a three, it's up. Bang! Step. That was a, a long possession, lots of offensive boards. Crossover, and step aside, back step. Joel Zadarski, nothing but the bottom from three. Garrett Spooner, answer. Daily nope. triple, 36-29. Nobody there to play defense, and Garrett Spooner makes some pay. Brennan Fry. Tyler Cooper, runner in the lane. It's off his hands, going back to the alumni. And here comes Joe Batrell. Oh, and a hard fall. He'll be okay. Long pass, Brian Haiti. Mid-range, off the glass. No, rebound Josh Peel. A hard fall for Joe Batrell. He seems to be okay. Here comes Joel Zadarski. Joshua Peel, top of the key. Joe Batrell, spin, shoot, score. Beautiful shot from Joe Batrell. Conquerors by nine. It's their second largest lead of the game, just behind the 10 they had just a second ago. High ball screen for Garrett Spooner. He's bottled up, finds a wide open. John Olsen gets his man in the air, reverse lane shot, good! His first bucket of the night. Beautiful play for John Olsen. Officer John Olsen, I might add. Yes, definitely that. Spins, looking for Peel. Peel closely got it by Garrett Spooner. A deep right three. side three. No good. <laughs> Rebound Garrett Spooner. He shot that one from Elgin. We would have to call the heat check if he had made that one. Brian Haiti in the right sideline. Bring it back up. He's wearing number 42 tonight. Hate to say it's in honor of Jackie Robinson or anything, but here comes Joe Batrell. Some full court pressure from the alumni. He's got to get it over before the 10 seconds end, and he just does. Tyler Cooper, he's got that mid-range in his game. He lost the handle. Joe Petrell cleans things up. It's no good. Rebound, Officer John Olson. Disappointing when you get a shot that close, and you just you just don't put enough on it because you, you think you're close enough. And the star of the first half for the Conqueror is Tim Petrell. He's off the bench. He's ready to check in. Brian Haiti scissors one up. No good. Put that one up in a crowd. Pass long up ahead to T Tyler Cooper. Does a spin, shoot, miss, rebound, Spooner. 
The alumni wanted it carry there. Looked close to it. Tyler Cooper would like to start hitting those mid-range shots. He can hit them. Yes, he can. A deep right side three. Banked it in. He put it in. It's a four-point lead now Did for the college. That's his second triple of the night. He's not afraid to pull him. Off his foot. Eric Ramis in a run out. He might air one out from three. Holds it. Bit disappointing that we have a deep top side three. Off back rim. That was a heat check. Certainly. <laughs> Straight to the bench after that one. Brian Haiti <laughs> shot that one from oh, the no, Conqueror's logo. Coach Year looking to keep his hot shooter on the floor. <laughs> right corner, Joel Zanowski gets his band in the air. Right top of the key, Tim Betrell for three. Missed it. Rebound, Joe Betrell suits and misses. Rebound, John Olson. Missed another short floater. Lead down to four. Ramos over to Olson. Brian Haiti. Oh, tried to squeeze one in, couldn't quite do it. Oh, he lost his man, doesn't shoot it. Tim Petrell, pump fakes up. Back to Zdarsky, right fake, side fake, three, no, rebound. Petrell, it's on the ground. Timothy Petrell shoots, misses, rebound, Olsen. Wow, lot nothing of, doing for the Conquerors right A lot of right mid-range misses. Ramis, point guard for the alumni. At the moment, he'll feed Garrett Spooner. Spooner with a high ball screen. Back to Ramos. Working off the screen from Spooner. Trying to find his pick and roll man. Oh, Brian Haney, quick trigger three. Whoa. Whoa, Nelly. <laughs> wow. Behind the backboard. That's a good pass there. Ah. Another <laughs> miss. No mid-range magic for the Conquerors. They have gone stone cold. Oh, a good steal by Joe Sadowski. Blows by him all the way to the lane. Layup shot, good. Good hand. A well-timed timeout from Coach Hume after the, the turnover. The alumni playing with some life on defense. Certainly. The problem is right now that they have slowed down on the offensive end. Brian Haiti got a big three, banked it in, but <clears throat> the Conquerors have, have played fine. They have missed a lot of open shots though, so definitely Coach Spooner is talking about just take your shot. If you're a three-point shooter, don't try to drive into a crowd and shoot a fall away two-footer. Right, 14-22 left to play in our second half of action. 40 to 34 in favor of the Conquerors, the college. All new lineup on the right corner. You don't want to start reaching. Star is moving on the floor with pace. You're going to get called more times than not. Gachette's a run point. Floater. No. Rebound. <laughs> Alumni ball. Here they come. This has been some crazy gameplay. Right corner, Tim O, set up three ball. Off the rim, no good. Rebound, foul, Gressley. Gressley fighting Tim for that o, offensive rebound. Tim O just can't find his rhythm from three. I've been saying it all game, but you just wait till one falls. You just wait. Top of the key, it's Patrell. Pass inside, other Betrell. Tim shoots, misses, rebound, Bichette. Good shot from Tim Betrell. Bichette crosses over, drives down the lane, back out to the top of the key, Tim O wide open. Back to Bichette, shoots, what a scores! Pass. Passed up on the three to make a very difficult pass, but a beautiful pass at that, and an easy layup for Bichette. Swing pass to the other side, Joshua Peel. He's a freshman from Florida. 
Tim Betrell, mid-range, quick trigger, no good, rebound to Shet. Again in transition. He is a transition machine. Oh, it's batted out there by Tim Betrell. A good, smart foul by Tim Ope. A nice foul at that. It would have been a three on none going the other way. He does a reach in foul. Hopefully the Conquerors would have been able to score on that play. You just never know. No, you don't. But a smart foul, yeah. Save the layup. The lead is seven. Right corner, Joshua Field, field for three. It's gone! <laughs> and they lead by ten. I believe that is, that's his third triple of the, of the night. I've never been good at rhyming, but that was an easy one. JP for three. Here comes Tim Betrell down the other line. Hesitation off the hands. We're going to get a foul call. Get it into Brendan Fry. Zdarsky set up for three. In and out, no good. Rebound off the hands of Tim. Gets his man up in the air, shoots, no. Rebound, Del Hay. Out the pass, Ilya Markashet. It's a one on one. Spin, layup, and the arm and he was able to complete the three-point play. Ilio Marcachet, the hoop, the arm, and one coming. The first of the night for either team. Number 51 going hard to the rack and getting paid. Sub coming on John Olson for John Batrell. As Ilio Marcachet looks to complete the three-point play. And he does. does. Wow. What a drive from Gachet. The beautiful spin move. The foul, the and one. I, you heard the high five from up here. Looks like we got a little bit of a stare down. <laughs> Tim Bottrell, not afraid to take the contact and get to the paint. Or near it, for the call. Air ball, rebound, up, in. Nice play by Joshua Peel, offensive rebound. Reverse layup is good. Yes, it was. Feeds Gresley, Gresley, nice pump fake. Oh, beautiful pump fake. Timo, mid-range mid -range game, up, out, rebound, gets his own miss back, throws it up, and in! What a play by Tim O. Never quit on the play and ended up with a nice, easy layup. Offensive rebound. Swing it, Zdarsky. He missed it. Rebound, that's going to the alumni. Oh, they're staying here. We have a sub coming in, oh, Caleb Rich. Ball, but it stays with the Conquerors, Caleb Rich, yes sir. Josh Peel will come off the floor. Caleb Rich, Rich, he's for cooking for... I don't know what personal that, that is on Joel four. Darsky. That's four. his four. I and guess it was some, somewhere in the vicinity of that. But he'll get a sub. Yeah, he's going to have to have a seat. He'll not, he won't have... Passing lane. Tim, up, out, rebound, oh, here he comes. Oh no, Mr. O running point, bringing it down. He wants a screen, takes it to Gresley. Gresley three, Can't banked it. it off, banked it out, up the head of, oh that was nearly out of bounds on the Conqueror. Tim Mattrell, go! Tim Mattrell. Nice find from Brennan Fry. Seemed like a little bit of a busted coverage. But Tim, Betr Tim Betrell gets open. It's the easy two. When he's going to be able to come back in the game, he's got four personal fouls. Probably won't risk it until later in the game. But one thing we got to watch on the Conquerors is the threes aren't falling. <laughs> so maybe try to work inside more often. And then on the alumni side of things, Alec, I think a key for them is their, their threes, that, that's, what, that, that's what their offense is, so we got to get the threes to fall more often. Certainly, yeah. And I think, I think Coach Ryu knows that. That's why he used that timeout. We're going to have a sub come in. John Olson's going to check in here, and Brian Hades going to stay in as well. So Delhay takes a seat, and so does Gressley. So Tim O is going to sit too. Um, Still no attempted shots for Eric Ramos. I would love that to change. Certainly. No change in the lineup for the college. I think Caleb Rich 
he's that close to drilling a three, and this place is going to be up for grabs if he buries one. Certainly. Not afraid to shoot it. We'd love to see it fall. Eric Ramos, here he comes. Step. Garrett Spooner. Puts it on the ground. Top Q Ramos. Gets his man in the air for three. In and out, no good. Rebound Joe Vitrell. His first take though. That was a very good look though. Had a very good chance of going in. Oh, he stole it. Beautiful steal by John Olsen. Here comes Brian Haiti. That's not what you want to see from the Conquerors. You want to see more teamwork. Conquerors bench getting into it. Oh, a turnover. And steal. Right corner, Brennan Fry. He lost it again. Oh, it's a long pass up ahead, Gachet. One man to beat. Good. The lead is back to seven. That's been a number we've heard a lot tonight in terms of lead. lead. Oh. Oh, it's out of bounds. Going to the alumni. Good effort play by Levi McGovern, but he did not get the role he wanted. We also got to point out the effort of Garrett Spooner to cause Certainly. the disruption. Yep. Adam Holman. Adam Holman. I, my mind drew a blank. So did I. Here comes Eric Ramos. This is a big possession to try to cut into this lead. Top of the key, Gachette. Thinking about a three. Now he'll drive. All the way to the lane. Wild shot. I don't know if you want a little bit of contact, but I want to swing now. Tim oh, Patrell, deep three. No. Okay. Rebound, Tim. Rebound, Ilio. He'll stop. Top, long, rebound out of bounds. Oh, that was close. Back and forth, traded threes, and not one of them connects. Joel Zdarsky will run point for the Conquerors, brings it down. Gives it up. And Brennan Fry coming back in. Conquerors playing with urgency. Trying to get a, a shot away. for Peel. It's oh. Oh. That was a fadeaway. The, the play they needed. With a lot of with a lot of pressure from the defense. For the answer. No good. Ball rolls right to Spooner. Back out to Ramos. Look at his five. 448 to play and counting. Delay Del with top. the ball. Spinning, working inside. Back to Ramos. To Spooner. Del Hay working in the middle. Can't get it to roll. Here comes Joe Patrol with the basketball. Over the timeline, he'll stop at the top of the key. Trailer, Joel Zdarsky finds him, doesn't pull it. Stolen, long pass up ahead, Ilya Markashet. This should be easy, shoots, scores. Pressure's on now, a one and one situation. A miss, the alumni have the ball back the other way, a chance to tie with a three or get within one with a two. Yep. If he makes it, you're up two possessions and in control of this game. Like I said, one little play, back and forth. Certainly, yeah. Back-to-back -back threes from Joel Zdarsky. Crazy sequence there. Up. Beautiful free throw from Brennan Fry, and they are with. They are now ahead by four. Two-possession game. It's up. It's in. Nothing but the bottom. Timeout. Oh my, what time out? They're going to talk it over. Down five with a minute three left. The strategy here is probably confusing for Ryum if you're, if you're drawing up a play for a three. Um, so I guess they'd go to Gachette or maybe uh, Eric Ramos. He's only shot once and his one miss was that close. So a three puts you within two. And then, and, but if you miss, it's it's the fouling game and make the Conquerors Certainly. make their free throws. Luke, I'd like to see the ball in the hands of Ilya Mark Gachette. He has had some key buckets down the stretch. It's time for our daily shout outs at the scorer's desk. If our media team could show the scorer's desk. Sorry to make him work harder than he has to.
Keeping the clock for us is former conqueror, Lyle Geist. He's on the far right there, on, or left on your screen. And in the middle there is Annette Armacost, daughter of former coach Dan Armacost, and happens to be my sister. And on the far left is Mrs. Rachel O, the biggest fan that the alumni has ever had. Mrs. Rachel O, she also works at the college there, so we'd like to thank them for all their hard work. Our clock keeper, Lyle Geist, our scorekeeper, Annette Armacost, and Mrs. O, our sixth time and running fan of the game. Also up here with us keeping score is Samuel Scalisi. We're gonna give him a shout out as well. Thank you for all your help. And Caleb Moody does the most work of all of us in keeping, the, keeping this thing going. We'd like to thank him as well. Gachette spins, shoots, scores! Coach Spooner telling his players to 40, calm it down. 46 seconds and counting. A bucket here might end it. Timo, Tim Batrell. Worst time! It's on the floor! It's a scrum! Foul! It's gonna be free throws down the stretch that can win it for these Conquerors. One and one, you have to make the front end. And if you're the alumni, if he misses, you have to block out. It's Taylor a three. Marcus Chet playing with four fouls. Mm -hmm. He's got to play though. He's been, he's been the, the guy the last three minutes. I'm shocked to see the ball not in Joel Zdarsky's hand more often than that possession. Big free throw here, a miss. Doors wide open for the alumni. He's got Tim O. Pass inside, John Battrell. Scoops, misses, rebound. Maroon, Maroon ball. And instead they're gonna call it on college and it's gonna be man on man possession. 21 seconds left. Wow. Another timeout. Well, so you saw there Ilya Marcachet being the distributor. I wonder if it wasn't a better decision to find Tim O running up the court with an in transition three. He's well, been a he's been a clink job all day, but once he hits one. Well Luke, they got they got a good shot. Down the floor, they got it to their big man and he, he had a chance for a layup. I mean that was a good shot. It would have been uh, maybe good to try a three to tie it, but if they, you could you could draw them within one, you would have been able to foul them. Make them go to the line, and then you'd be, hopefully, if, if they missed one, if they missed the front end, you'd be with a chance to win it with a layup. But the missed free throw definitely puts them in a bad spot. It'll be Conquerors ball coming out of the timeout with a three-point lead. 21 seconds left. This game has had everything we have hoped we have, we have hoped for. Lots of excitement, lots of effort put out on the floor. Conquerors looking to close it out and finish the season with a win at home. All right, they're going to set up the full court man-to-man -man pressure. It's going to be college ball. They're going to inbound. End of the game, a very fun, entertaining game. 
Final score, college 65, alumni 59. Full-time uh, point scoring first for the alumni, lost, lost by six, but um, leading the way with 21, Ilya Marcochette, with eight each, Cooper Gressley and Tim O. Three from Daniel Zadarski, five from Garrett Spooner, six from John Batrell, and six from Brian Haiti. And for the w winning and victorious conquerors, 24 from Joel Zadarski, Brennan Fry with nine, Joe Batrell with eight, 12 from Tim Batrell, 14 from Joshua Peel. It is time to announce our Red Fox rough and tough lawn care player of the game, making lawns great again. And today, Alec Mitchell, we're gonna have to give it to Joel Zadarski. He played so well in the second half, had three in a row from three, including two in succession to kind of put the Conquerors up for good. We're gonna give it to him. It was a great game though. Any final thoughts? Turn it on. We have a mic issue. I'll talk first. The alumni went very, played very well, and the college came out on top. Alec, any final thoughts? As I was saying, this is probably one of the best alumni games I've ever seen. There was a lot of effort on the floor, and the Conquerors. It's really exciting for them to close out their season with the win, and really just a, a really fun game. That's that's basically all I got to say. And it's neat to see the future for the Conquerors. No seniors this year. This yeah. would have been senior night. No seniors. So next year, this is going to be the same exact team coming out. So we'll see if the Conquerors can build off this for next year. 65-59, college and alumni, thanks for joining us this year on Conquerors Basketball. Our next time actually broadcasting is going to be in just a couple weeks when I'm going to be able to bring you Fairhaven, Bapt Fairhaven Christian Academy High School Basketball. That's going to be a lot of fun. But once again, and finally, your final, the College 65, the Alumni 55, this has been Fairhaven Media's coverage of Conquerors Basketball.